right, so Big Love by Lindsey Buckingham first appeared on Tango in the Night, uh, Fleetwood Mac album. Um, very produced, you know, a lot slower. Um, and I loved that version. That was with all the uh, the oohs and the ahs, you know, the grunts. And um, if you go to my website, click that I up there or the link in the description box or the first pinned comment. And um, you can read the little article that I wrote. Like I always do a little article on these songs. And uh, I'll leave some links and some song facts there that are kind of cool to look at. But for now, uh, we got to get into this because it's quite difficult and it's going to probably take a little while. Okay, so we've, you can't see the nut there. There's the nut. So I'm capoed on the fourth fret. And um, so that is like, uh, what is that? It's a C sharp, right? But we're playing an A minor shape. So we've got, and I'm going to call these chords just like you're used to seeing them. So um, it's like A minor. And it's like A minor over G. And then it's like kind of A minor over F, which, you know, gives you an F major 7, and then it's A minor over E. And on some of the live versions that I uh, watched and learned this from, instead of going down there, it'll go back up there. Right? So those are the first chords um, in the verse in the beginning. Okay, so the lick is going to be like this. too bad right so we've got our thumb like this there's no Travis picking in this it's all just picking on single bass notes so the thumb is just right down to the F down to the E and the fingers are going bad now when I do that you know you could like sometimes I'll just do it with the first finger which is probably a bad habit because you should probably use your second finger on the G string okay so together speed like on my demo I recorded it at 136 beats per minute because that is the absolute fastest I could go and even that it was like I was barely holding it together you know um I think I mentioned on the dance version he's, he's playing about 139 beats per minute it's just insanely fast right so up to speed that's going to be like That's your first bed. Now, we're going to do this. Okay, that's your next bit. So, I'm going to play an F chord. And we're going to hammer on. Like, we're going to bar here on the first fret. We're going to hammer that on, right? I do it with my little finger, but you could, you could do that. All the while, banging away on this low E. And then we're going to go to an E minor, do the exact same thing. Okay, and we're going to finish up with a hammer on that A minor, on the G. Right, so. And now we're going to do this lick. So real slow. That's what the upper part is doing. And sometimes I think I hear... off on that C but mostly I don't hear that I hear 
and all the while being followed by the thumb, right? That is, you know, now you're getting that E note. And then we got to go to the open D when we pull it off. Now, when I was first learning this, I was going. staying on that on that um, E note but once I started playing open D it just that part came together so quick and then we've got that that's open G or open D open G and then we hit the A on, on G2 and the open A so that whole section, slow. Okay, now we repeat it. But we do this. is such a cool lick because um, it's sort of syncopated right it's sort of off time okay so I'm gonna play it slow again and really really listen to what the thumb is doing now um, I've sort of got this thumb pattern from the more recent live versions now on the dance he's kind of just doing all the notes so sort of like that right but on the newer versions um, he's doing this. Now just listen to the thumb. Try to ignore the fingers and just listen to the thumb. Right? So it's it's like three, then two. Three, two, two, two. Right? Um, this is a real feel kind of thing. Um, now the fingers are kind of going... And, you know, I'll have a tab for this, and I think if you, uh, you know, looked at the tab on this, it might make more sense quicker than me trying to, you know, break down every note. So I'm just going to play that section again super slow. So coming out of this... section up to speed. All right, super cool. And then of course there's another verse. And so on and so on and then Now we're going to do the solo, and we're going to come up here to one, two, three, four, fifth fret of the E string. One, two, three, and we we kind of jump that note, right? We kind of come in early on that note. Um, right, so we're there, and then when we hit the eighth fret, put a little bend on it. As soon as we hit the 8th fret, we're going to hit the D string. So we're going to go. And again, 
we're kind of jumping the gun on that change to the E, to the open E string. Now, we're going to go into this next section, and for me, when I was making my demo, this was by far the hardest section to get, and it goes like this. Okay, again, I'm sharing on this F. So... Okay, so we, we've got this F chord, and we're kind of going, you know, open B, and then, and then we go to like a C chord, but don't play that B, open B there. That's pulling off from E1 open to the G, uh, to, sorry, G2 to C um, on B1. Okay, and the whole time the thumb is doing this kind of syncopated thing. And that is like an E augmented because we've got we've sharpened the fifth or the B. Okay, and again, you know, instead of over explaining because I can't explain every note, we just play it slow. So coming out of this. Um, time. And up to speed. That is a really hard part. That could take a long time to get that down. It took me a while to get that. You know, I mean, if I <laughs> recorded how many times I practiced, that would be in the hundreds, easily in the hundreds. Okay, so now we're going to get to this other section of the song, and we're going to come up to this this A minor chord. Like it's like an A minor, but you're adding that B note, so it's like an A minor nine. And we're going to do this. And that's the picking pattern. So we're going to go um, D string, B string, then G string, E string, back to the D string. And then we do it back to back. So. And that's a complete cycle. Now we're going to drop down to here. It's like a G, but we've got that E note in there, should be like a G6. Do the exact same thing. Now we're going to go down to this, this F chord, uh, but we've got an E in it, so it's like a, a major seventh, and we have a B. Got a sharp four, right? So. Uh, 
sharp 11, I guess you'd have to go F major 7, sharp 11. <laughs> I guess that's what I'd call it. And we do the same thing. And of course, you know, when Lindsey Buckingham is writing that, he's not thinking, oh, yeah, yeah I, I need to put in an F major 7, sharp 11 here. No, it's you just going, that sounds awesome. That sounds good. That sounds good, right? It's just, you know, finger positions. So that whole bit would be... Back up. And that does that two or three times, I guess. It really doesn't matter, because it's all to do with the singing. And then he changes it up, and he just... Just that. Just straight through. Same chords. And then you kind of finish it off by going to that E minor and start strumming, right? Okay, so um, let's play that whole bit once through a little bit slower. And for me, to get through that part, I just focus on the thumb, you know, I, as long as I can get my thumb. Because we're doing you know, some pretty serious Travis picking there, right? I'm not even thinking about my fingers, you know, I'm just letting them kind of do their thing. Now, I think, like I'm using two fingers, so I'm going... I think what he may be doing is just using his middle finger, just going, like, you know, if I, like, <laughs> who plays guitar like this? Nobody, but to show you. I think he may be doing it that way, but I went with the two fingers. And, you know, I really struggled in this section in my demo. Um, because that's a long time to begin. You know, at 136 beats per minute, that, that was a real challenge for me to get through that. So then we're, we're there, and now we're just repeating. Strum in the A minor. And we hit this F major 7. Now, if you can get your thumb around there to get that bass note, you know, that'll that's good. Add that, right? But I have a shorter hand, so whenever I do that, I can't get that high E. It gets muted out by my palm here, right? Because it's just the way it is for me. So I don't do that low E, low e or low F. And you don't really need it. Teka teka, you know, we just mute the strings and scratch. An E minor, A minor, G6, where we're just gonna mute that A string, right? Play all the all the other strings, and then we just keep repeating that. So
right? And then we just end it on that quick change to the A minor. And that strumming there at 130, 136 beats per minute, that, that is like intense strumming. And like I said earlier, he does it at more like 139 on the dance version. Um, most of his other live versions seem about 133, 135-ish around there. Okay, so I'll try and play that bit up to speed. So, um... Fairly close, probably not as fast as um, it should be, but for demonstration purposes, I think it works. Okay, and that's it. Um, a lot of really, really tricking, intense picking in this song. And how he, you know, sings it at the same time is just beyond me. I don't know how guys do that. So the way to practice this is just start out super slow. Like so. gradually speed it up. Until... You know, you can kind of do it at a better clip. But don't start speeding it up until you can play it perfectly at whatever speed that is. So that's it for this one. Awesome song, awesome guitar playing. This was a real challenge for me, and um, but I like a challenge, you know? It's all about constantly improving and trying to do stuff that you maybe don't think you can do. But, you know, if you stick with it, pretty well anybody can play anything if you really, really want to, and you're willing to make the sacrifices, right? Okay, hope you get something out of it. Hope you enjoy playing it, and we'll talk to you next time. Thank you.